We are back tonight with a conversation with Madonna. And in light of today's news about the death of Dick Clark, take a look at this. What do you hope will happen? That was American Bandstand, her new song, Holiday, back in 1984. She was 25 years old. And when Dick Clark asked her there what her ambition was, she said, quote, to rule the world. Okay, so she fell a little short of that, but she has done okay for herself. She has relaunched and reinvented herself yet again. She is, as you'll see, different now. From the hint of British accent you'll hear sneak into this conversation to the fact that she is older now and has dealt with more highs and lows and things like parenting. Harry Smith sat down with Madonna a few days back and, among other things, challenged her to play Truth or Dare. Last time most people saw you was on the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, more people actually watched the Super Bowl halftime than mm -hmm. watched the game. Did you know that? I heard that rumor. It's true. That's kind of cool. And the Super Bowl was the most watched television event in history. Mm. 114 million people stayed to watch. What did that mean to you? It meant the world to me. Um, it meant that I guess people were curious to see what I was going to do. <laughs> and uh, I felt really lucky. Affirmation? Yeah, I mean, it was a kind of a magical experience, especially towards the end when um, I was singing like a prayer and everybody was lit up like a candle. Hmm. Yeah. You almost cried. When? Just now. I did not, but I almost cried in the Super Bowl. Yeah? I did, during Like a Prayer. I almost cried then, for sure. I didn't almost cry. Not just now? No. Really? I know when I'm about to cry, Harry. You don't know me that well, okay? <laughs> for 30 years now, Madonna has been seeking and getting our attention. Like her or not, the Super Bowl proved we cannot ignore her, nor apparently do we want to. So when her new album was released last month, once again, she got her attention. It debuted at number one. It's hard to be number one. It's hard to sell records. It's hard, you know, it's a lot of competition. And uh, I was extremely elated. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But in the second week, it plunged down the charts, leaving some to wonder if the mistress of reinvention had lost her touch. Don't tell that to her die-hard fans, like Frank Orlick, who came to the launch of her new perfume last week and asked her to sign his arm. I've been a fan since 1982, since she first started, and uh, she agreed to it, so there it is. He then went to a tattoo parlor to have the signature made permanent. As for the album's content, the lyrics appear to be an undisguised screed against her ex-husband, Guy Ritchie. There are lyrics in there about custody and prenups and uh -huh. how you would end up with all my jack. Mm -hmm. Did you get a lot off of your chest? Yes, I did, <laughs> <laughs> in a matter of speaking. There's a rule of thumb when it comes to writing, and that is write about what you know. So. I heard some anger in there. I thought there was an, the girl is angry. Je suis énervé. What did that mean? I am angry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a bad girl. Nary a day goes by, it seems, that Madonna isn't in the news. The TV ad for her new perfume reportedly ruffled feathers when it was deemed too racy. Is there a point in your life where you ever get tired of being controversial? I don't think it's me being controversial. I think people, other people, like to get attention, and they know they can get attention for themselves by mentioning my name. And I think some people are um, kind of stuck on my name, like a needle on a record, and they just have to keep calling attention to something I've done. Um, and it works. Maybe not tired of being controversial, but tired, yes. Our chat took place at midnight, and even she admits that sometimes she thinks about slowing down. 53 years old, 30 years making music. Do you ever have this day where you just think, you know what, I'm just going to chill? Yeah. Hey, chill. Of course I have those days. I'm having them right now just about every other day. I just want to stay home in my bed. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm. <laughs> it's past your bedtime, Harry. It is a little bit. Turns out it's not so easy. 
maintaining her place at the center of the pop universe and being a single mom with four kids. Is it hard being you? I imagine it must be. Yes, it is. It must be hard because I complain all the time. <laughs> I'm serious. That's a strange question to ask me. Is it hard being you? Only on certain days. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard. We all have our challenges. To be single mother of four and to work as much as I do and um, um, live my life in a kind of metaphorical fishbowl, um, it's pretty challenging, yeah. But so far I've survived with sanity and humor intact. Are there two Madonnas? Is there the... It's probably about 25. But to my children, there's mostly the one that comes home and says, have you done your homework? And why are you wearing that? And why did you say that? And what are you eating that for? Her oldest daughter, Lourdes, is now 15. The two of them have their own clothing line, and she sang backup on one of the songs on the new album. But at this moment, Lourdes is in Madge's doghouse. There was a picture the other day of her in the paper with a cigarette. Yes. And I thought, how did Madonna react to that? She wasn't very happy. <laughs> Are you a tough mom? I think I am, but honestly, I don't think I'm as tough as I, as I should be. I think I need to be maybe tougher. It's hard, though. It's hard. It's, every day is a negotiation. But cigarette smoking, I'm not very fond of. Mm. For anyone. Yeah. I don't approve of anyone smoking cigarettes. Most of all, my daughter. But there's a video of you with a, with a yes, cigarette in your that's, mouth. I don't smoke. That's just... An accessory, Harry. <laughs> There's a difference. She smoked that cigarette before I did that video. It was one of that. So, uh, and she didn't get that from me. Okay? Do you have stuff left to prove? I don't know about prove, but I certainly have stuff left to say. Um, and I think that's really why I'm doing it. I still feel like expressing myself that way. And I'll keep doing it as long as I do. Madonna with Harry Smith.